how to create a project status report. So you should be on the PSR tab or sheet, and uh, we are now going to create a project status report. So the date, this is the date of the report for week ending, and the date that we're going to use is from the case study. So it's set in 2026, is Friday, May 1st, 2026. Now, before we can uh, comment on the status of the project and uh, describe it and, and what we're going to do and so on, we have to uh, go to our plan and see how we're doing. So we're going to have to work that through. We got to talk to our team, figure out where things are, check the costs and so on. So we go to the um, uh, project schedule. And so uh, this is where we are. Again, remember, it's May 1st at this point. The project started uh, in uh, in March. So so things are, are going along well. You can see all the, the green tasks at 100%. And we're going to move over a little bit here to get ourselves to May 1st. There's May 1st there. That column there is May 1st. Okay, so we scroll down and look at the activities that were happening this week, and we're we're going we're we're now going to see a bit of a problem here, which is this task film video was planned to be complete by Friday by today, um, and it's not. It's only seventy five percent done. It's not quite complete. Now, just a, a quick note uh, because this. Um, date is in the future. This this video was filmed uh, in 2024. Uh, the uh, the incomplete part of the bar is gray. It would normally be yellow if this was really May 1st, 2026. But it's just a timing issue. But anyways, it's not green, which is which is the issue. So in talking to our team, uh, the the project manager would say, well, how much time is needed? We can't, you know, it's not going to be done today. You know, this is, it's only 75% and it doesn't sound like it'll be done today or we would have reported 100%. So in talking to the team, two more additional days, work days are, are required. So uh, we're gonna, going to increase the duration of film video to 12 days instead of, instead of uh, 10. So if we go back to the project schedule tab, we can now see that we've now extended into the next week, uh, May 4th and 5th. But because of the dependencies, this now pushed edit video to go the the it was a, it was supposed to start Monday, but it's now starting Wednesday and, and going into next week. It's pushing the completion of the entire project by two days. So now instead of completing on Wednesday, May 13th, as we previously planned, we're now going to be uh, completing on um, Friday, uh, May 15th. Okay, so uh, we've got a bit of an issue here. So um, in discussion with the team and so on, what is decided is to overlap these uh, two activities. And we do that by updating the dependency information to create a lead. So instead of a plus one, we're going to enter a minus one into the workday formula. And thus then press enter. And you can see what happened now. We're now going to overlap these two. Now this increases, this introduces some risk to our project. It's a little more complicated. We're going to be editing uh, parts of the video while we're still filming other parts. And that that's uh, that's going to be risky. But uh, the the uh, discussion is that the, uh, again, in terms of trade-offs that are made, it's felt that this is a reasonable solution. Okay, so that is the, the approach taken with the schedule. We now move to our detailed budget. So we look at our budget, and, and this is the uh, information that we uh, had before. Uh, there's our other costs. And now we're going to now see, well, what are our actual costs compared to our budget? Well, this is the end of April that we're in. So in the previous month, we had actual costs of 5,400. So that was $40 over budget. A minus sign means over. So compared to 5,360. So what was our uh, results for the end of April? That's the question we, we, we need to find. So we... Uh, 
we gather this information and what we found is that we actually spent $43,060. Oops, we're $780 over budget for that month for a combined total of $820 over budget. So this is, this is again, an issue. So let's go back to our uh, project status report. Well, based on those two things, we feel that we're in a yellow status. So the status is updated to yellow. We, we, we've got some uh, concerns here. Now, what we need to do is we need to describe this to the reader, right, of this of this document. Um, so we just can't, um, we, we, we just can't, uh, you know, leave it at that. We need to say, well, here's, here's why. So um, I'm going to, I just pasted this information in for brevity, but this is what I would have typed in. The work of the project is proceeding well. You could see from the project schedule that most of the activities were, were green, but we're reporting a yellow status. Now, you need to say why. The reader wants to know, well, why, why are we yellow? Well, the project is currently $820 over budget. And the first issue listed below, you'll see that in a, in a couple of minutes, um, the film activity taken longer than ex ex expected could potentially delay the completion of the video and the, the, the project, the product launch. So the source of the budget increase is being investigated, so more to come on that. And the schedule is being adjusted in order to accommodate a longer uh, film video activity. So, so that's, but we're still in a yellow status because of that. Okay, so we now move on to the activities during the past week. So now what we need to do is say in the past week, we're on Friday, so from Monday to Friday to, to, to today, what is it that we have done? And we get that from the project schedule. So we go back to the project schedule, okay, and we are looking at May 1st. Okay, so what did we do uh, in from Monday to Friday? And we can, we can move this just to kind of even make it there. Now we only see the week uh, we're in. And if we scroll up to the top, it was a nope, none of these occurred. So we have three activities that were worked on this week create press release, send press release, and film video. Those are the three that we did. So we need to now type those in to the project status report. So create press release send press release and that's just um yes film film video now we also say who was working on the task who was assigned to the task so we go back to um our schedule we uh say well these ones were worked on by sp uh that is sarah pierce so we will that here, Sarah. Now we could just say Sarah P, but we've got all this room that we could make it make it a little more um, reader friendly, user friendly. And then film video. Well, who was working on that? Let's again go back to our uh, project schedule. Uh, that was Maddie Wen and Eli Briggs. Okay. So we will, if you're not sure of that, you can check that out on the resource uh, tab or, or sheet. Okay, so Maddie Wen and Eli Briggs. So let's uh, document that. Maddie Wen and Eli Briggs. Okay, that's good. Now what we do, and you got room here for a whole bunch, but we, we only had three. We say activities during the next week. Okay, back to the schedule. So don't you don't have to make it up. The schedule has it already there. Back to the schedule. Um, and we'll look to next week. Now, there are two things that are scheduled for next week. Okay, two activities that are scheduled. Film video is still underway. So even though we reported it last month, we are planning now, because we made this change, we're planning now to work on film video 
and edit video, both with Maddie and Eli working on it. So again, we come back to our um, project uh, status report. And edit video, Maddie Wen and Eli Briggs. Okay, so that's what we're planning to work on next week. So now you now have a snapshot of what did you do in the past week. You can see that. What did what are you planning to do next week? That's what the purpose of these two are. And note that you can have the same activity in both parts if they're uh, if they're if they if that's what you're planning to do, that means this one is incomplete. It will not be completed. Film video is still underway next week. Okay, we now have to or we need to enter the issues that were that are currently in our in our project, uh, and it particularly um, in cases where um, you're in a yellow or red status. There, there, you know, there's there are needs to be issues defined because otherwise why are you yellow or red a green project can have issues as well just not big enough to to cause it to go yellow or green okay so our first issue which again i'll just type in uh has to do with the uh um the film video activity taking longer than expected so it's describing it as well as the 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 solution that we defined okay the the second uh the second issue, there can be more than one, has to do with um, um, the demo version and so on. That's another issue that was that was uh, uh, currently in in play. Okay. The last one are any changes made to the project plans. Okay. These are uh, things that are are have changed since the last week. In our case, there's been only one change that has been encountered. And, and again, I will just paste it in. The software required to create the multimedia demo was, was upgraded. And so that's a change that's being reported in the project status report. So that's, uh, that's the complete project status report. Thanks for watching this video.